So problems on algebraic identities. So how the questions will come from this algebraic identities. How to solve them using the identities which I explained previous. So I'll explain you now. Now for example, find the product of x plus 2 into x plus 5. This is asked. So find the product. So find the product of x plus 2 into x plus 5. So this is an expression and it is one more expression. Now to solve this, you can see here. So which identity we applied that if you observe. Now question is x plus 2 into x plus 5 is equals to dash. So when you observe this identity about this x plus a into x plus b. So that is, is equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So here in the place of a, b, 2 and 5 are given. Okay, in the place of a and b. So a is equals to 2 now and b is equals to so 5 if you observe. Then we can write x square plus in the bracket a plus b. That is 2 and 5. Okay, 2 plus 5 x plus a into b that is 2 into 5 okay this we need to simplify to get the answer so x is square plus 7 x plus 2 5 is a 10 that's it so this is only answer this identity you need to remember so I need to only just remember we solve the previous so any questions are given which are related to these four identities if you observe one more like x minus 3 into find the product of x minus 3 into x plus 7. So when you are applying the identity about this, that is identity once you write x minus a into x plus b. So that is x square. So we have seen previous. So x minus a into x plus b. This is x square plus b minus a. x minus a, a into b. Okay, this identity only will apply here. That is x square. So turn to color. x square plus b minus a. So b is 7, a is 3. Okay, then 7 minus 3 x minus a into b so that is 3 into 7 or 7 into 3 both are same right if you simplify x square plus 7 minus 3 is a 4x minus 3 7 is a 21 so this much so using the identity we can solve like this and apart from this are given also we can see once if any fractions type are given let me explain one problem related to the fraction type for example find the product of t by 2 plus 6 into t by 2 minus 3 so if you can remember the uh, identity is okay otherwise in case if you cannot remember also we can solve by using this uh, distributive law okay I'll explain that type also once so using distributive law how to solve this that is first term is t by 2 will multiply complete second expression that is t divided by 2 minus 3 okay again plus 6 there is a second term in first expression and multiply complete second expression t by 2 minus 3 fine now these both we need to simplify now here this into this that is uh, t square by 2 to the 4 each and every term minus again t by 2 into 3 that is 3t by 2 okay multiply first Okay, got the concept right. First one, just to multiply these two together. This into this. Again, this into this. Multiply. Now, 6 into t by 2. So, that is 6t by 2. This into this. Again, 6 into minus 3 is minus 18. Now, try to simplify the problem to get the final answer. So, here you can cancel 2 and 2, 3 is 
after cancellation remaining is t square by 4 minus 3t by 2 plus 3t by 1 nothing means minus 18 now like terms we need to simplify so when you simplify the like terms that is so here you simplify t square by 4 so take common here so if you take minus t common 3 by 2 minus 3 by 1 because minus t i to common minus 18 just to do lcm inside that is t square by 4 minus t in the bracket if you do lcm 2 3 minus 1 into table 2 times 2 3 is a 6 okay already know it then simplify so t square by 4 minus 3 minus 6 is minus 3 so minus 3 in t into minus 3 by 2 minus 18 now finally t square by 4 minus 2 minus uh, plus 3t by 2 minus 18 okay this is the final answer so we can solve anything if unable to remember also just use the distributive law to simplify this okay let's uh, see one more sum So if you observe in case before x value also you have the coefficients and okay fine find the product product of so question is 2x plus 3y into 5x plus 4y Now, when you are asking like this, use the distributive law to simplify this. Now, solution 2x is the first term in the first expression. Take that and multiply the total second expression 5x plus 4y. Now, plus 3y is the second term in the first expression and write full first expression. Uh, second expression as it is 5x plus 4y. Now, we already learn in uh, algebraic expressions, multiplications, single term, monomial to polynomial. Now, we can 2x into 5x is 2, 5 is a 10x square, 2, 4 is a 8xy with first both. Again, 3y into 5x, 3, 5 is a 15xy plus 3, 4 is a 12y square. Okay, like this, each and every term you should multiply. This also first to first and first to second. Now, like terms to simplify 10x square plus 8xy plus 15xy. So that is 23xy plus 12y square is left. Okay, in this way we can solve the problems which are given by using this property. And when are given three terms, also same method. First two terms will simplify with the answer will multiply the simplify the last one. And let me show you when one sum when you're asking three expressions product. Okay, I'll write the question here. Find the product of uh, 7x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 again into 3x minus 4. Okay, here. 7x plus 3, 2x plus 5, 3x minus 4. 3 we need to multiply, 3 expressions. So first 2 will solve. Okay, when first 2 will solve as it is first of all. Then after getting answer, we will multiply the third expression. Now 7x into 2x plus 5. Again plus 3 into 2x plus 5. So up to here is one bracket. For this, you need to multiply 3x minus 4 is afterwards. Now, when you simplify this, 7 to the 14x square plus 7 for the 35x and 3 to the 6x plus 3 for the 15. Okay, this is one bracket, one expression into 3x minus 4. 
first to simplify this 14x square 35 plus 6 is so 41 x plus 15 now this total expression three terms are here we need to multiply it 3x minus 4 now now just simplify again so after getting see here 14x square is the first term in first expression take that and 3x minus 4 completely again plus 41x is the second term full 3x minus 4 plus again 15 is the third term in first expression into 3x minus 4 that's it now everything you need to simplify to get the final answer now if you simplify 14x square into 3 that is 14 3 is a 42x cube minus 14 into 4 so again if you simplify finally you can do like terms also simplify 56x square plus 41 into 3 3 12 x square minus 41 into 4 4 4 4 16 okay x plus 15 3 is a 45 x minus 15 4 is a 16 now like terms all you simplify here x cube term is only 1 therefore final answer is 42 x cube and x square terms are these both minus 56 plus 123 so that is a plus 67 right x square now these two are the x terms minus 164 plus 45 that is minus 119 x minus 60 is a constant that's it so in this way whenever they are given three expressions multiply first to two then that answer you just multiply the third expressions okay, in this way you can solve any problems are given by using the identities as well as using this distributive law we can explain and how to solve the problems which are having some formula based okay product of sum and difference of two terms okay apart each and every problem you have to ask is some questions they will give by using some other formulas also so how to use that using other formulas also i'll explain you now